Hello, welcome back to my channel everybody. If you're new here, it's Chloe. I do videos on fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle. And today, I'm going to do a little q and I asked you guys questions on my two Instagrams, Chloe Closefoot and Chloe Turcha. Um, just anything about college, eating right, working out, pretty much anything. But I got a lot of college questions, obviously, because tis the season. So, I'm going to go ahead and answer those questions for you guys. So the first question I got was, what is the hardest part about staying healthy in college? And I would just say all of the temptations that are constantly surrounding you, whether that's in the dining halls, because there's a million different desserts and a million unhealthy options to choose from. The constant um, temptation of going out with your friends or getting a quick bite to eat somewhere. Or if you're out on the weekends, obviously, you know, a lot of college students drink. So that's also a temptation and obviously it's unhealthy for you. And a lot of people, when they binge drink, they end up eating like crap and they just don't feel good. Um, and it's just a lot of those influences uh, or otherwise you're just so busy and so tired that you don't want to like prioritize that time to work out but actually that's going to help everything like in your entire day just go much better if you do work out and you are active and you move your body. Um, it's just kind of hard to find that balance of because like obviously you want to enjoy college but obviously you want to like feel good and just be happy and healthy in your own skin kind of situation. So just being able to be stronger than the temptations, but be able to find that balance of still enjoying college, but just being able to balance the two, I guess. So, and my next question is, what keeps you from taking cheat snacks all the time? So honestly, my number one little hack to that is always having healthy snacks around and limiting the unhealthy snacks that I can tempt myself with. Um, I understand not all the time that is under your control, especially if you're not like living just like with yourself. Um, so I would just try to have healthy snacks around so like I'll tempt towards eating that or um, limiting my portions because obviously that's the biggest thing like balance is key you can eat unhealthy foods it's just portion wise that's what's going to kind of get you so if the snacks just make sure you get a good portion or have a little bit of like an unhealthy snack if you're really craving it to get out of your head but um, not snacking I've also noticed if you just have like balanced like three balanced meals every single day with your proteins, fats, and carbs, you're gonna stay fuller a lot longer and you're gonna be a lot more satisfied, so you're not gonna be as tempted to snack. And if you are, just try to make little healthy snacks to have and pick up when you're hungry. Um, like throw a protein bar in your bag, make some healthy granola, have some fruit or some carrots. Like I snack, I, I, I actually do snack on like carrots and hummus a lot, or I make my own protein granola, I eat that all the time. Um, Greek yogurt, stuff like that. I just have healthy snacks around, so I'm not tempted to eat the bad snacks and I just don't buy the unhealthy snacks, I guess. Um, but pretty much it's just under like self-control, like that's the hardest part. Kind of contemplating of like, is this gonna actually keep me full? Is this gonna satisfy me? Am I gonna feel good after this? Like weighing the pros and cons a little bit in your head helps a little bit. My next question was how to stay healthy in the dorms. So that is a really tricky one because you have the dining halls and then your dorms, you pretty much like have snacks in there and like when food's around me, I feel like I should just eat it. So it can be hard to like, obviously snack on unhealthy food so just make sure you stockpile your dorm with healthy snacks healthy food lots of water or drinks to like keep yourself hydrated you just get on a good routine that is what's going to keep you honestly balanced and straightforward and feeling good i would say uh, find that balance make sure you kind of like schedule in the times you're going to work out if that's what you're into i understand not everybody likes working out but it does make you feel good or just instead of taking the bus to class, walk to class. Like the little things throughout your day to just get extra movement in. Um, and in the dining halls, just go for the healthier option. And if you really want something unhealthy, get a little bit of it. You don't need to take a bunch. Just try it. Um, I mean, once you kind of get a routine, you surround yourself with people who are also on that same track and the same journey of like health and fitness. It helps a lot too. So who you surround yourself with getting on a routine i would say would be the two best ways to stay healthy in a dorm and also just having healthy snacks in your dorm instead of like the crappy like cheese its and sugary granola bars and pop tarts and stuff like that like have healthy snacks I asked what university i go to i currently go to a community college actually i go to kirkwood um, and i love it go community college it's amazing it actually worked out great for me considering everybody had to move home second semester due to COVID anyways, and then everything's pretty much online this semester too. So it doesn't really bother me. It's a lot cheaper. I'm saving a ton of money and I don't know. I just, I like it. I like going to community college, but I will be transferring back to the University of Iowa coming this spring. So 
fun stuff ahead. Okay, somebody asked easy to go snacks to keep in your dorm. Snacks that I love to put in my dorm were um, just like veggies and dips, so like carrots, broccoli, and like hummus, stuff like that. Um, little Greek yogurt cups are super good. Protein bars, popcorn. I loved having like skinny pop or just like the regular kernel, like the plain kernels you pop in your microwave, like homemade. That was really good. I ate that a lot. Um, like pop chips, um, beef jerky, um, like trail mix, super good. What else did I eat? Oh, those peanut butter pretzels. They're not like the healthiest, but they're really good. So just having like a protein powder in your room to make a protein shake is super, super helpful. Or like English muffins to throw in a toaster if you have one. Um, toast, stuff like that. Also ate a lot of like apples and bananas or I just throw those in my bag to have throughout the day. Um, I ate those a lot, a lot, a lot. Do you follow some sort of program? So actually I don't follow anyone's program, but something coming soon that you guys can follow from me coming soon um, but no I don't follow a program do I regret transferring no like absolutely not um, it was it like kind of like I said earlier it worked out perfectly because everybody pretty much came home anyways due to COVID and everything's online again still so like the two semesters that I'm at community college is pretty much been online and like weird anyway so I feel like I'm not really missing out on that much because I can still go visit my friends I have friends at both like big universities within like my town um, and I'm moving back anyways next semester, so No, I like really like living at home. It doesn't bother me at all. It saves a ton of money um, And I've been able to kind of like further other things in my life rather than just school. I can focus on more like Stuff coming soon, I guess um, It's kind of giving me that freedom and yeah, I don't regret it at all Okay, and then the next question was do you feel social pressure to stop working out and going to the gym? No, um it's really truly kind of at least in college or even in life whoever you're surrounded by kind of like influences you so if you're surrounded by people who enjoy going to the gym working out staying healthy it's going to influence you to do that as well um but pretty much just getting on a routine i have my routine and everybody knows that pretty much so i'm going to go to the gym at some point and they know i prioritize that over a lot of things like i always get in my workout um but i don't feel pressure to not work out because i feel like a lot of people do work out in their day-to-day -day. it's not like a weird rare thing people do i guess um but yeah, just get involved with people if that is something you're into. Try to get involved with people who do enjoy that because it's going to make it a lot, lot easier to stay motivated. Having okay, my next question was, what is your major and dream job? So my major right now is business marketing. I've pretty much been on that route since sophomore year of high school. I love business. I always have, but I never knew exactly what I wanted to do with it until the past couple of years. I really fell in love with fitness. Um, and so my dream job would be just to be able to like make programs for people, sell the program, like workout programs, um, just influence people's lives to be like healthy and fit. So I kind of want to combine my passion of like health and fitness with business and just make my own business out of it. That would be like my all time dream career. Um, so yeah, I guess there's not really like an exact name for it. I don't know how to like specify that career, but just being able to combine the two things and make a career out of it for myself. I want to be self-employed, work for myself, all that kind of stuff. So, okay, and that is kind of all for the day. Um, all the questions I'm going to answer. So thanks for asking me questions. If you did, I hope I answered them. Hope I helped some of you guys. I kind of like Q and A's. They're kind of interesting, you know, kind of keep up to date with my life. But I meant to film this like a very long time ago, like two weeks ago, but then we lost power due to the storm all this kind of stuff and I just never got around to it so hopefully this will be up soon if not I do have um, a video already up on my channel it's oh my college essentials video so pretty much just everything I feel like that is essential to bring to college um, you can watch that and get some ideas if you're kind of in the college vibe if not check out my channel subscribe like peace out